Yeah, I can ask a follow-up question about this. So, like you said, you know, this is this is happening because of the economic reasons, right? So, um, how can European countries actually mobilize the people, people who support, you know, far right, far left um, ideas? Because it, at the end of the day, the economy is their priority, right? So, how can Europeans, actually European nations, you know, um, create a rally? around a flag effect among the people of Europeans so they can support the more you know stronger leadership role a stronger yeah. leadership role from European countries so I, I understand that you know this is this, all the economic crisis are the out of hands of the European countries and then it's happening because of the Russia and the United States conflict but <clears throat> at the end of the day they, they need public support in order to exert more authority in NATO, right? So how do you, t- do you think, like, is if it is feasible for European countries to mobilize public support for a stronger leadership role? I think it's, it's a good question, but also a very difficult uh, one. I think it's very difficult for mainstream political parties uh, to, to, to rise. Why? Because these mainstream political parties, and I'm, you know, I was myself a political activist, and I still am in, in one of these mainstream political parties, we have traditions, we have a history, you know, we have also um, a box out of which we tend not to, that we cannot really leave. We have voters, you know, a certain type of voters, a certain sociology. It's very, very difficult for a political party to switch, you know, from one sociology to another, from one platform to another, uh, and especially for foreign policy. Uh, and uh, which is why you have these new political offers coming from the left and from the right uh, with uh, with radical ideas such as negotiating with Russia uh, or breaking up with the US you know, or or, uh, or going back to uh, putting police uh, at uh, at every border for example because they th- these offers are there and they are becoming more and more important because it's it's extremely difficult uh, for for a politician to say publicly, you know, everything I have told you for the past twenty years or thirty years is a mistake, you know, uh, and we need to do something different. Very very difficult, you know, because you you have a certain fidelity to your ideas, you know, to your values also, and so which is which is why it is it is so difficult to to change uh, attack uh, tactics and and, and policy uh, like this uh, you find some politicians who, who are flexible in their minds you know uh, and uh, you know, left-wing politicians going extreme left and uh, right-wing politicians going uh, extreme right you see that in france you see that in germany in many many countries and uh, but you know Generally, uh, this is this is uh, this is something that is very difficult, uh, and that is helping new leaders, new political leaders rising from these uh, populist uh, populist uh, margins, as we as we call it.